What's up guys? We are River, Corin and Mila, a travel family from the UK. We are currently exploring Somerset, but today we're going to travel a little bit further down to the Jurassic Coast. Having been on our bucket list for a while now, we couldn't pass on the opportunity to travel from Longleat to Dorset. Old Harry Rocks and Dirdle Door were on our to-see list, but as always, with a toddler in tow, things never quite go as smoothly as planned. As true Brits, we were on our way, no matter the weather. Let's go. Let's go, Mummy. Okay. Stay ready. Ready. We'd spent the night at the Bath Arms on the outskirts of Longleat, a historic British pub with 15 super luxurious bedrooms above. The initial drive down to Dorset would take us around an hour and a half in our VW hybrid multivan, which really is the perfect vehicle to be adventuring in. Shout out to VW UK as well for hooking us up with this hybrid multivan. We actually worked with them on our NC500 trip to Scotland and it was a great success. But that time we had the VW California. Mm -hmm. It was a camper. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It is a good one. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? With no direction. One thing we never quite get over is driving through the British countryside. We love the scenic drives, the sense of freedom, and the sheer delight listening to Mila when she spots a sheep or cows grazing past her window. Hills, woodland, and endless rows of field after field carpeted green. And yet, despite all this, there's nothing quite like the fear of a single track lane. Cool. So, we've literally just come face to face with a tractor on a single track lane. We went the wrong way and then tried to go take a shortcut and now we're reversing back out of that shortcut. Anything to say? No. Those shortcuts that turn into his scenic way is the story of my passenger life. Sometimes, I have to admit, it does turn out better than expected and we have been greeted with some stunning sights on our journey down, even in the rain. Hey! Shall we go? We have arrived at Old Harry Rocks. Mila has not fallen asleep, so we're hoping the path is okay for a stroller, for her pram. So fingers crossed, she will fall asleep. I've literally just paid for parking on pay by phone app, it's super helpful. Most of the pay things have like a code now so you can just tap it in. So it's three pounds for two hours and hopefully it's only one kilometre walk from here and we can take the pram. So let's go see. There's a really nice pub right next to the car park. Might have to stop in there later. Unfortunately, later never came. You'll soon see why. Just as we were driving over the hill, the visibility wasn't that great. So we are hoping we're going to be able to show you guys, fly the drone and get some really nice shots. How are you white jeans doing? <laughs> Bad day to wear white jeans. Look at the rocks. Wow. This is crazy. As you're walking up the path to get to the very end of the cliffs, there are little turn-offs that you can take. You'll see little paths just off the side of the main path. And like you go for trees and then you come out into this grand opening and it's pretty amazing. So she slept. No. Not sleeping today, are we? Maybe on the way home. We were just saying how pram friendly the route has been, literally up until right before the edge. So I'd still say it's pram friendly. I think we have made it to the end, but you can't really see how amazing this place is so i think we're going to get the drone up and you can see how amazing and beautiful these cliffs are i think you'll agree that the bird's eye view is incredible the difference in perspective is mind-blowing 
We couldn't quite believe we were standing on one of the most famous landmarks in the South Coast. It's clear from these views why these are part of what's called the Jurassic Coastline, a World Heritage Site managed by the National Trust. It's a shame the weather wasn't on our side, but we felt, if anything, the gloomy, darkening skies only added to the dramatic environment. I don't know if it's the fresh air or what, but Mila is on one today, but it is quite a dangerous place to come with a toddler, so just make sure like you don't let go of them or you've got like them in a carrier or something. We normally do have ours with us, but unfortunately we don't have it with us this time, so you are being a little wild one for mommy. I've had enough heart palpitations, so it was time to secure Mila back in her pram and walk back, still hoping and praying for her to doze off. We put Mila back in the pram, she's blown some steam off, so hopefully this time she sleeps. Yeah, we're already at two o'clock, so it's a lot later than she normally sleeps, but hopefully. Just even a little half an hour will help take the edge off. She is used to sleeping on the go and usually has her afternoon nap in the pram, but every day is different and a new day and sometimes a new challenge. Today being the latter. Nonetheless, we decided to get Mila and ourselves back in the van to warm up with the hope that the motion from the car might ease her off. So, unfortunately, we've not been able to make it to the pub. The weather's kind of turned a little bit and we're conscious of the time because we want to try and make it to the Durdle door before it gets dark, so we've decided to pack up and get going. Between Old Harry Rocks and Durdle door, it's only a 35 minute drive. Baby, come on. No, 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 it's time to go night night. Mila. Okay. Mila's extra tired right now. It's 10 to three and she usually naps around 12, half 12. So I don't know why she didn't nap today. Obviously every day is different, but now she's obviously crying because she's overtired. So we're hoping that this next journey to Durdle Door, she might get a little bit of sleep. So that's two dummies thrown out. She's been screaming for the last 15 minutes. But that's the reality with traveling with kids. And you know what? It's not even just the reality of traveling with kids. It's just the reality of having kids. So, you know, why not do it whilst traveling? Disney playlist for the win. She's so tired. She just wanted a little bit of comfort, a bit of reassurance, so we've just pulled over and just had a bit of a cuddle. She's taken her dummy and she's fallen asleep now, so hopefully, if she has about half an hour to 45 minutes, we should still be all right. She might just go to bed a little bit later, but I'd rather that than her be screaming all the way home. It also looks like we missed the horrible weather over at Old Harry Rocks, but now it's absolutely thrown it down, so we're not too sure what to do mm. or if we're going to have any luck at Dirtle Door. I think we're still going to drive over there, still try and get out if we can. But at the minute, the rain is coming in from every direction. Yeah, I mean, if it stays like this, I ain't getting out. Ever the optimists, we carried on. Whether or not we'd actually be able to see Dirtle Door or not, just the drive alone through Dorset's quaint little villages was even more picturesque than we could have ever predicted. We have arrived and the weather is it's pretty bad. Although it has stopped raining, but it looks really, really windy. However, windy. Mila is fast asleep and we don't want to wake her up yet. So I think we're just going to take it in turns to go and see the little door. Yeah, their parking is five pounds. So we may as well park, pay up and go in. We're here now, it's not raining. We're probably it's not going to be windy. here again or for a while. So. I mean, by this point, you're probably thinking that we're mad, and honestly, we're not that far behind you. To top things off, River had made the rookie mistake of attempting to talk to camera in the blizzard conditions. Yet, despite all of this, we're still envisaging just how beautiful this place would look in the summer, and it would. Making it down only reaffirmed why we'd had this place on our bucket list for so long. 
If only we could have spent the afternoon down on the beach, soaking in the views. If anything, it's made us more determined to come back here in the summer. It's no wonder this famous stone arch is one of Dorset's most photographed and iconic landmarks. What a coastline. It is so stunning. But I think it's time to go back up and let Corrie come down and take a look for herself. I think she's going to be a bit cold. Me and I woke up, or rather I kind of woke her up because getting closer to four it's too late for us to keep sleeping and we're here so we have to show me a little bit. River's just walked down and back off and now he's going to come back down again with us. Clearly thrilled by the prospect. The walk down and back up is pretty steep but it's worth it to take another look at the incredible natural wonder, isn't it? Well I'm glad you could join me. I know. I have to come and see it. I mean, even on a day like this, you could tell just how amazing it would be in the summer. It is definitely one to tick off a bucket list when you come to the UK. The wind had really started to pick up and we were conscious Mila wasn't getting too cold. The weather really hadn't been on our side, but we'd managed to avoid the rain and tick off two places from our UK bucket list. So to us, that's a success. And more importantly, more memories for the books. It was time to finally make it to a good old British pub for some good old British grub. That is it. That is our day down on the Jurassic coastline. We've seen Old Harry Rocks and Dirdle Door both today. And even though it's been a bit of a rubbishy day weather-wise, it did hold off on the rain both times we were here. So we managed to fly the drone and just get out and walk down and see these amazing parts in the south of England. Next week, we are staying in one of the most unique places we've stayed. So you don't want to miss that one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, if you made it this far, we'd love you if you could give it a thumbs up, little comment, introduce yourself. We'd love to connect with you guys and we will see you next week.